Lesson 7. A few tips from a skilled cargo mate. This is the seventh lesson of the cargo operations course. You will find a link to the Russian version in the description. I hope my advice will help you at sea, and your career will receive an additional boost to growth. So, a few tips from an experienced chief mate. 1. Maintenance of ship cranes and hold covers. The ship is underway, there are days before the berth. It is necessary to check your cranes, carry out the necessary maintenance, complete lubrication according to the lub map. Grease the blocks, guys, wire ropes and booms, check the oil level in the hydraulics, etc., everything listed in the service manual. If the weather permits, the cranes are turned, checked in operation, after a long sea voyage. This also applies to hatch covers, those. Checking the operation of McGregor's hydraulics. Up to weather, hatch covers must be fully opened and visually check the condition of the cargo in the holds, especially bulk and hydroscopic. Maybe your sealing rubber is not as good as you think, and leakages are visible. Criminal traces must be removed, the damaged bulk thrown overboard. Close the holds overnight. Two, preparation for cargo operations. The ship is still underway, a couple of hours to the pier. Again, according to the weather, the procedure for opening the covers is repeated. If yesterday you carried out maintenance and checked the performance of McGregor, now, in order to avoid delays in the port, prepare the hold for cargo work. On container vessel, all containers lashing is removed, except for twist locks. Three, well cooperation. We arrived at the port and tied up. While the master is busy with free practice, the first guest in the cargo office is Chief Stevedore. This is an important point. Much depends on how you find a common language, well cooperation. You discuss the whole algorithm of cargo operations, the number of gangs, their shifts, the equipment that will work in the holds. Necessary cargo equipment, VHF communication, etc. The cargo algorithm is your concern. What holds, the amount of cargo and in what sequence, in order to avoid stressful loads of the hull, is played on the computer in advance, noted on the cargo plan and handed over to the chief stevedore, discussed with him, possibly corrected. Again, this is an important point. A tin of cola or a pack of cigarettes is a trifle compared to smooth and calm work, so hurry up in advance and demand from the master that you have a representative soft drink and cigarettes. A normal captain is in the know and it's more expensive for him to be stingy. There is nothing, treat him with a coffee. The main thing is to show your respect and willingness to cooperate. Four visual inspection of cargo and photo documentation. The vessel received free practice, the Quebec flag was lowered. This means that a permit for cargo operations has been obtained. The master usually informs this by VHF. The first mate is highly recommended to go down to the ground and look, feel, smell the cargo, and conduct a visual inspection. It is strongly recommended to take photographs, with date and time, of any cargo, and even more so if the cargo was stored in the open. Any deviations, such as damage to the package, contamination, soaking, etc., should be fixed. If for some reason you accept this cargo, a photos is a must. Whether there will be remarks in the bill of lading is a separate issue, but a photo with dates is always proof, even if in the end the bill of lading is clean. Five, PNI club. If you are loading metal, not scrub, a PNI inspector is required. Ninety percent for the fact that there will be complaints upon acceptance of the goods. Note, PNI, property and indemnity insurance, is a special form of organizing marine insurance on a mutual basis between ship owners. 
the inspector will professionally inspect the cargo, draw up an act, so all documents, such as navigational receipts, and then a bill of lading, will be legally executed correctly. Our comments on the claim, upon delivery of the goods, receipt only and received as loaded, are not supported by anything, or not even and have no legal protection. Even if the inspector doesn't show up, call the local PNI office again for advice. Brochures with the addresses and phone numbers of the representative offices of this club should be on your ship. Six. Cargo Equipment Before the cargo operation, the senior stevedore asks you to give a sling. I avoided doing this at all costs. By giving your cargo equipment, you are responsible for it. If you do give, the sling must be certified and branded. No homemade products, even if you are sure of them. This does not apply to spreader and container fasteners, which you must provide. If you load yourself, then calculate the sling according to the load in advance and also avoid homemade products. 7. Guys, safety lines, of sufficient strength and length, allow you to correctly position the load during lifting and prevent the load from turning in a horizontal plane. By definition, guys are attached to the load, not to the hook. As a rule, two guys are needed, at the ends of the length of the lift. For heavy or oversized items are required. I do not advise you to use heaving lines, you will tear, however, it depends on the mass of the load. 8. Hull Strength, Local and Longitudinal I strongly recommend that you do not violate either one or the other. Local Strength, the permitted load per unit area, permittable weight for squad meter, is given in the information. You check the longitudinal strength by calculation. The consequences can be unfortunate, for example, the ballast tank will leak, cracks in the hull or contractions are possible. Do you need it? 9. Separation, protects your deck from damage, and also significantly, more than doubles, would, increases the holding forces. The material is cheap, but important in fasteners. 10. Loading slash unloading of a heavy weight or large size, an operation with an increased risk. Take on this job only when necessary, when you cannot, for some reason, push it to the coastal stevedores. If you have to work on your own, do it with all caution, doing everything that is written in the checklist. In short, maximum stability, step-by-step -step instruction, good communication, safe lines, the best crane operators and experienced people on ballast valves. Eleven. The control of trim and stability during cargo operations is carried out constantly. Loading, unloading takes place in a certain order, the algorithm, according to the cargo plan, which is compiled by the cargo mate in advance. Before the operation, it is necessary to play the entire loading and unloading cycle on the computer and make sure that both trim and stability will be within the working limit. During a cargo operation, the chief constantly monitors the amount of cargo on board, entering the changing situation into the cargo computer. Ideally, trim and drafts on a computer and in real life should match, or differ a little, by centimeters. To do this, regularly remove precipitation yourself, without handing over to the watch officer. If something is wrong, look for the cause, up to the stop of cargo operations. Unfortunately, at the pier, you can't check your metacentric height, but there are many things to worry about. For example, a ship with a current displacement of 15,000T cannot be felled aboard due to the loading of one container. If you collapsed, you are not stable, stop loading until the situation is clarified and corrected. As a rule, after an additional measurement of ballast and fuel, 
everything will become clear. It happens that the measuring tube shows a full tank, although it is empty, the tube is clogged. It happens that the declared weight of the container does not match the real one. 12. Inclining, a method of determining the metacentric height by the angle of heel, when moving a small load from side to side, shifting P. The method is good for a new building, the ship is empty. In practice, it is of little use due to strict conditions and labor intensity. How is it possible in practice to move a load, whose weight is precisely known, in the transverse plane? Rearranging the container is no good. And how exactly to measure the roll? You need a scale or an inclinograph. There are too many strict conditions, and their non-fulfillment leads to large errors. Another way, by taking a small load, loading P, for example, ballast, will also not give anything, since the calculated applicate of the ship's center of gravity, ZG, is involved in the calculation. Therefore, you will have to rely on the calculated stability of your cargo computer. You can evaluate your stability only at sea, through the period of rolling, formula on the screen. Coefficient C depending on the type of ship. 13. Calculation of slings. Calculate the slings in advance according to the lifting capacity of your cranes. On board it is desirable to have a complete set, for all cranes, of these slings. Fourteen. Lashing the cargo is a paramount task. Here is your first assistant, cargo securing manual, CSM, instructions for placing and securing cargo. There is also a method for calculating the fastening and recommendations for separation. If your cargo is not in the CSM, fasten each side of the package with lashings, the total SWL, which is equal to the weight of the cargo. Take a photo of the mount with the date and time. Under the influence of variable loads, the fasteners weaken, therefore, on a voyage, every day of the deck crew should begin with checking and tightening the cargo fasteners, regardless of weekends and holidays. 15. Sounding and Current Stability Every day, in the morning, seven days a week, the bosun, or delegated by the ab, makes measurements of ballast, bilge and fresh water. Data on fuel and oil are received from MO. He also puts the results of the sounding on the board in the cargo office. Based on these data, the cargo mate calculates the current stability. Ballast and bilge are measured not only to calculate stability, but also to avoid wetting the cargo. Needless to say, after each ballast operation, measurement of all tanks is mandatory. Why everyone? Are you sure about your ballast valves? The valve may leak unexpectedly. 16. Ballast Operations My advice is to avoid ballast operations when you are loaded. If the vessel is old, today the tank is airtight, tomorrow it may leak from a newly acquired crack. Therefore, when you are in ballast, Regularly check your tanks by pressure testing, under pressure, this is when the ballast pump is working and water is gushing out of the air vents for a minute or two. 17. Voyage Documents All run documentation is collected in a separate folder and stored for at least six months, a year, it is during this period that complaints are possible. The camera is your faithful assistant. Make it a rule to record everything and always on camera with the date and time. All voyage photos, store on the cargo computer, in a separate folder under this number, voyage number. It should be stored the same way, a year. Daily, current stability, in electronic form, is also stored on the cargo computer, in its folder, for six months or a year. Good luck.